Honorable Finance Secretary, Ms. Radia, Ms. Kumani, Ms. Mariwala, Jodi. We heard uh, our Finance Secretary explaining the pain of how the birth of GST has impacted the lives of the government uh, officers and uh, we have been dealing with the finance secretaries in the past uh, representing various industry associations such as FIKI. And one thing I should tell you that, Ms. Radhya, that you are the right person, right man at the right place at the right time. Uh, <laughs> and, and I would really appreciate the way you have responded for uh, any concerns of the industry area. We should just be very authentically asked to keep quiet. <laughs> but but there was a difference in the way uh, the GST is introduced. Especially the biggest gain on introduction of GST was the mindset about the bureaucrats have changed, at least the general scenario. The mindset about what is a bureaucrat, how they approach uh, industry issues has been completely changed. And if you see that such a reform, like mother of all reforms, uh, which happened in this century. It can could not have been easy to introduce a GST. Even I am hearing a lot about uh, criticism about the GSTN. I was talking to one of the software uh, company and they were talking about how an ERP which is successful in the market, how many years it took to settle down and it's still evolving. So you can easily draft a law, you can easily pass an act, but putting that into a software so which would be self-policing, self-compliant, it's not an easy task. So it is easy for us to criticize that GSTN failed. GSTN failed for some time. That's a, that's a fact. Everybody know that. But overall basis, if you look at, I think uh, I, I, I am talking to a lot of people in the industry. At least in private, they admit that this was an unexpected success as far as GST is concerned. We are told that the inflation will will uh, will increase immediately after GST. So far, we have not seen such kind of inflation. So essentially, the way the GST is implemented, of course, you can never have a perfect GST ever because it's an evolving economic scenario. Technology is changing. Business styles are changing. The organizations are changing. And accordingly, this will also will be an evolving law forever. It is not going to be a final law which can, need not be changed. So in, during this evol evolution, uh, some of the mistakes which we can, which we have committed in implementing GST, if we can rectify in due course, that would be a great uh, uh, fillip to this new tax regime. Especially if you look at the draft of the GST law, many of the old provisions from the Service tax, excise, and uh, VAT act has been copied without much of a thought. And very classic example is place of supply rules. And some of these rules are drafted in such a way that it is actually taking the industry out of India. For example, now clinical trials, uh, testing laboratories. When they are, India could have been a hub for industrial uh, research and, uh, and testing, etc clinical trials, etc. And because we brought a kind of uh, place of supply rule to say that if it is, if any of those goods are made available for the purpose of providing a service, then that place of supply is in India. And there cannot be an export benefit. Many of them relocated to Philippines and uh, Vietnam and other places. So many of the things require uh, uh, relook uh, in terms of uh, those credit, input credit restrictions, 17 five restrictions. And as the comfort developed, as the collections goes up, and I would expect that this year it could be average about 1 lakh crores per month, uh, it is more or less certain that we will reach that average, that collection. When the comfort de developed, I think uh, it is time for us, once it is done, once it is experienced that the collections are as, as per target, we should remove all this uh, small, small uh, hindrances which is built in the GST law. And some of them is place of supply rules, and second is about the 17 five restriction input credit. Uh, and then some of those complicated calculations for denying input credit, free supplies, 
So there are areas where we need to work on this, and I'm sure that uh, under your guidance, this will be done. And uh, I would, on behalf of FICI and GST Task Force, I would, I would like to tell you a big thanks for uh, all these years, uh, your cooperation, your help, and hearing us patiently and bringing out the solution. Thank you.